Right, hello, my name's John. Welcome to my cooking channel. Yesterday we did a broccoli spaghetti. So today to even up the balance <laughs> between vegetarians and carnivores, um, we're going to do uh, spaghetti carbonara. So I've got some bacon pieces there as you can see. I've got some garlic. Um, I don't have any parmesan again. Um, but I do have some uh, cheddar there and uh, and I've got some gluten-free uh, spaghetti to use this time. Right, um, as you can see I've got my water on and so we'll put the pasta in first and then we'll start cutting up the bacon. Okay, so we've got our bacon pieces sliced up and into the pan. I've just put them on a low to medium heat. We're just going to get the um, fat to render out of that. And I'm going to get the two cloves of garlic now. And I'm just going to cut them in half and put them amongst the bacon pieces there. So there you go, as you can see, I've put the garlic, the two cloves there, cut in half, the cut side facing down to the pan. Now as the fat renders, um, it will take up uh, the flavours of the garlic and that will run through the rest of the um, bacon. And then we'll take the garlic out um, before we put the cooked pasta in. And now as you can see, in with the pasta. Now our, um, the fat's rendering out nicely, as you can see. Very, very nice. Okay, we'll come back to that when the pasta's ready. Alrighty, now this pasta is ready now. So we can now take it straight out of the saucepan. With its water. There we go, and then we're going to take some of the cheese here, half the cheese, scatter it over there, and then we're going to mix it up. Put the heat back on a bit here. Now, it looks like it's starting to dry out a bit. Then just take some of that pasta water and just drizzle it a bit there. And that should um, do the trick. Right, we're going to plate this up. You notice I've left the garlic in there because I'm actually quite quite fond of roasted garlic um, so I've decided that the um, best way is just to leave it there so there we have it let's plate up and there you go plated up I've sprinkled a bit of cheese in but it can still do with a nice grinding of black pepper and there you go folks all done. Catch you on the next recipe.